Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to talk about SharePoint site design and site scripts. So what are these site designs? So if you have worked with the SharePoint online environment earlier, then for provisioning, for auto provisioning few features, layouts, themes, or moving files, we must have used the PNP uh, engine where we were actually like putting up our JS files or our theme files. Uh, CSS what we want to provision along with the site creation we used to do that with the using PNP provisioning, provisioning engine so still that case is true for the deeper level of provisionings but uh, for around I mean like if we want to have a same consistency we got another way from Microsoft uh, to, to create the same consistent sites across so that we can do with the site design and site scripts so there are 100 uh, actions and I believe like 100 plus actions which we can do, which we can provision with site designs uh, and have the same level of consistency across in the sites. For example, we can have the same theme applied. We can have a uh, few list provisions. We can also provision the columns within the list, activating features, installing SharePoint packages uh, by default and uh, adding the extensions as well. So all these topics we are going to talk about one by one. So today I'll be starting with the how to get uh, this create how to create a site design site script along with one theme. So in our site script, I'm going to use that theme. All right. So I'll just uh, jump to my notepad where I have written few partial because we are going to use the SharePoint online partial for this. So I'll suggest to you to install uh, SharePoint Online Shell. I'll give you the link how to download and install that and post that you can just uh, start working it. All right, so I'm opening the SharePoint PowerShell. So my SharePoint Online Management Shell has been opened. So now I'll collect, connect to the first of all my tenant. So I'll just copy this command and I'll just go to tenant URL and this is my tenant. So it will give you a pop up where you can just sign in your tenant. I'm just doing sign in. So now you are connected. So as part of the next step, next step, as I said, so we'll be provisioning one default theme with the site design. So for that, we'll be creating one theme and I'll be taking help of theme generator. So I'll just uh, uh, add up this link uh, to you. I'm using this theme generator. So you can simply go to browse to this site. You can apply what primary theme color you would like to have and what body text color should be. So you can keep based on, uh, I mean, like your, your company branded theme. So possibly uh, it's a black primary theme color and with a body with a grayish and the text could be white. Let's keep it white. So you can see if you scroll down, you can see it has, it's giving you output in JSON, SAS and partial. So we'll be copying this entire partial because we are going to apply this using SharePoint shell. So I'll just uh, go to my notepad and update this theme, which I just copied. So now you can see I have created this one variable where the entire theme is being copied. I'll just copy this, move to my shell and I just paste it. So this the theme got copied into this variable. Now, we are going to add this theme to SharePoint online tenant. So you can see I'm using add SPO theme and I'm, I'm taking, I'm writing this uh, uh, theme name is XMIT theme sample and I'm just running this command. So this theme must have get, uh, got added. So now next part, we have to apply, create the script variable where we can apply this theme. So you can see inside script and uh, 
applying this verb verb means i mean like in the actions we have to specify what actual thing we are going to do so in actions we we are saying applying theme in action we can say create list create fields so that those example i'll be taking in next video so in this video only we'll be focusing on how to apply a theme with the site design so i'm just creating this site script variable just pasting it and in my next step i'll be adding this site script to the sharepoint online scripts so once I add, so it should return me one ID. So this ID, we have to like copy this ID because under our site designs, we have to use this ID. So now in my next command, where I am just doing a SPS site design, I'm, I'm, I'm adding this SPS site design. So here I have to provide the script ID. So what script should be? integrated with this site design should be used with this site design so i'm just copying this so now in this you can see i have this title of my uh, uh, this design so i'll be picking up this so i can just remove xmit custom so that means while creating the site i'll be seeing this title and under the web template it is 64 because I am applying it to the team sites and if you are creating this theme for communication site then the template would be 68 and the site scripts ID we just copied and you can just uh, description you can just say whatever you want so now I am adding this script to the SPO design so it's it got added so you can just copy this ID as well because if you would like to remove your design then using this ID it can be done. So you can see I have written one command of remove SP design and using this ID. So if you would like to in future if you would like to remove it you can do that. So now I am going back to my tenant and first of all I will check that whether my theme got generated uh, theme got created or not so for checking that you can just simply go to any of your existing site and you can just click on the change the look and under the theme you would find that your custom theme should start coming over here so you can say I just selected it it gave me this my applied custom theme so I'm cancelling it now I'll just go to my admin center to check whether the SPO the design the site design has been created or not so for that I have to click on this activate site and under this team site because we have applied the web template as 64 so I should be seeing my this custom uh, this site design which we created so you can just choose custom design and with that with that you can just create any site so I'm just creating one and we'll just see if that site uh, design is being carried or not. I'm just creating that site quickly. So now you can see my site has been created and my custom theme has been applied. So I applied that back, black background color. Primary color is black. So because right now is uh, only button is there. So if I just change that to let's say hero apart so you can start seeing it. You can start seeing that the primary background thing is hero apart with a black background. You can just add up anything. Alright, so the primary theme is applied as black and the body is grey and font is white. So this is how with using the site designs you can predefine you can specify what uh, things should be provisioned when your site gets created so this is how we can use the site designs so this is my first video in the series and i'll be taking the more advanced stuff with the site designs in my next videos so if you have any questions drop me in comments i'll try to answer your queries thank you